Good afternoon everyone. As you can see by the title, I am changing the crate seal. And uh, I, sh I screwed up a little bit, actually quite a bit, because I did replace the head gaskets two years ago. And I should have replaced the crate seal at the same time. So uh, now we're going to get into it. And I'll show you what we got going on. It's a mess because uh, I couldn't get the gasket when I wanted last year. It ended up being, took three months to get it. So by then it took a heck of a mess. So this is what I've got. Yeah, it's a heck of a mess. There's a lot of oil everywhere. So yeah, since it's freezing cold outside yet, and I can't get the garden hoses out to clean this off, we're gonna do the best we can to get everything clean, and then I'll just have to clean this up later. But uh, I gotta get this all tear taken off, and I guess it looks like I'm gonna have to order one of them too. But anyhow, them are cheap. Let's get started on this. Is this right here? Yeah, it's a five sixteenths. Uh, uh, yeah, used to use the five sixteenths socket, so this way I like taking it off just because it's a little faster for me. Trying to keep the dirt out. The best we can, anyhow. These down here are all 10, 10 millimeter. We don't have to take them off except for the air filter. Well, that one's bigger than 10 millimeter. These are all 10 millimeter. And then this slides up, but I don't remember if I have to take them off or not. But we'll find out when I get it loosened up. And this one has to be taken off. Looks like one's missing there. So more than likely I didn't tighten it up enough and it vibrated a little. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to change the fuel filter too. Looks like that one side's barely even on. Hmm. Yeah, that needs attention. Serious attention. fuel pump. I believe that one just slides right up. There's a bolt missing off of that one too. Should be two of them there and there's only one. So yeah, that's going to have to be fixed too. So we'll have to go to the hardware and get some new ones. Yeah, that one's loose too. Wow. Yeah, I haven't done any maintenance on this in a while. There is uh, 1,600 hours on this engine. So. That's a huge freaking mess. That's a huge, huge mess. Yeah, buddy, look at all that. And that's just from last summer. Wow, what a mess. Okay, we're going to have some loud noises here. Yes, I used an impact. I don't know if I got a puller big enough for that. I don't think I do. I don't know if old school is going to work or not. Give her a shot. It might work. Oh my god, I'm not trying very good on that one, but 
We'll fry pretty good on this one. Yep, old school still works. Yeah, I might have done that once or twice before. Magnets still work good. And yep, she's bad. She's really bad. I'm gonna have to spray that off. Trying to get everything cleaned up where the flywheel covers. Cover? He's got it covered, I guess. Okay. Get this all cleaned up. Yeah, that was a half a can. These Harbor Freight screwdrivers are great for uh, pounding stuff. Yeah, okay. Gotta get on a smaller screwdriver. Uh, try and not to mess up the sides. Sorry, but didn't give you buff enough. Uh, enough, yeah. A little bit of room there. Something flew at me. Right there. I broke the edge off of that. So there you go. Simple, easy, beasy. Yep, lots of oil there. Okay. And what's uh, going on with this is that rubber got brittle and here is the new seal which lines up good and a part Kawasaki part 92049-7014 yes it is a genuine Kawasaki part and of course with this right here this opening I cannot get a seal driver in there so we're gonna have to do this old school again Gotta put some oil around the seal. Around this seal. And a little around the outside. And the wire goes down. So we're gonna use a small ball peen hammer and a punch. Or not really a punch, but a drift. We're just gonna tap it in there lightly. Not to hurt nothing. Some of it might have to type a little lighter, or a little heavier on the light side. But you just want to be lighter on there so you don't damage the seal. And you just do it until it hits the, that sound. No, sa sa no seal damaged in this video. So there we go. That's all there is to it. So uh, where's that keyway? Here's the keyway. You can't see that. but It's a it's a half moon keyway and these things are a pain in the butt. But they still work good. Keyway lines up. Try to put it in there best as we can. You gotta fight a little bit with the yeah with the magnets. And we 
try to put it on there just as we can, just like so. Except for that keyway slid. Oh boy, yeah. Hmm? Got her on that time. Smashed my finger a little bit too, but that's okay. And there's little pins in here for this to sit on. We're going to put the washer on there. And this washer is uh, beveled to one side, or it's, it's a compression washer. Yes, I'm using an impact. And yes, I am going to torque it. Check with your manufacturing specs. Service manual will have in there the torque specs on it. Uh oh, I bent that. tight okay so this mower I have to have the seat down to start it and it should start right up just want to make sure I got everything the way back the way it should be I just kneel on it And that's it for now. I am going to have to let this sit overnight just because it's supposed to be somewhat sunny and warm tomorrow and not snowing. Okay, we're at the next day. Let's see what I can do with just the hose. Uh-huh, there's that much water in our area. So what I've got is a one gallon sprayer. And I have a bottle of concentrate. This is mixed 50-50. Half water and half uh, super clean, so. Yeah, this is working a little better. I can see it already coming off. Yeah, that works better. Much, much better. Probably gonna have to do this a couple times, but at least it'll be done. Okay, it's been set in about 10 minutes. Let's see how she does. I'm sure if I had a power washer out here, it would do really, really good, but yeah, I'll still put away for the winter yet. I can get the majority off of it, and the rest I get off in the summer. So then I go to put this away, or grab another mower. I hit it with power wash, car wash. The biggest thing is to get these fins all cleaned up.
Yeah, whatever. There we go. Drill up here. Okay, now that project's all done. It took me a little longer than I wanted to just because of the cleanup stuff. And if I would have had my power washer out, which is in the shed, still winterized, plus I haven't started it in two years, so yeah, I know that wouldn't have started. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video for today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening, and we'll see you in our next video.